Hello everybody, you're watching Good Vibes Julie and I'm Julie and today I would like to discuss with you about handling rejection. So stay with me and I'll be back in a few seconds. So whenever we want something, we uh, ask, okay? You want a salary increase, you want to take someone out, you are looking for some investors for your project or some partners, you ask. And um, this is in the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, you are scared of rejection. You are scared that the person to whom you're gonna ask is going to say no. No for many reasons that the person can explain, but the main thing that you remember is no and uh, for most of us this fear of rejection is something that we are carrying ever since we are kids ever since we are children uh, we have heard our parents say no we have heard some teachers say no we have heard some uh, some professionals in in the world telling no to us and we most of the time didn't really listen to whatever excuses they came up with we were just like okay it's a no and we develop this fear of rejection because we have the feeling that when someone tells us no it, um, the person is saying no to me as a person as an individual as a, as a being and we take we kind of take it very personally and this is so understandable as well because we just feel that we don't fit we feel that we are not enough we feel that we don't meet the expectation in order to be able uh, to get x y or z and so we develop this kind of uh, lack of self-confidence in further asking because we've been told no so many times that we just give up we're like okay whatever no need for me to ask no need for me to try because the thing i'm gonna get is no today um i would like to um to share with you um, a small a small uh, a quote actually that was um, taught by um, by Jack Canfield in one of his seminar and it goes like this um, it it takes 11 no's to get one yes so basically it's it's a numbers game the more you ask the better chances you have to eventually get a yes. You just need to swallow the no's, you know? You, you have someone telling you no, you just tell him next. No, next, no, next. It doesn't mean that the person is saying no to you. It just means that maybe he doesn't have the budget right now to hire you. Maybe it's just not the right time at the right moment. Maybe it's just not the right place. Maybe right now you simply don't have all the skills or maybe he's just not the person meant to be helping you right now. And most of the time, if not every time, every no you get is a blessing. Uh, my invitation to you right now would be to really consider every no you get in life as a blessing because it's just not meant to be maybe not right now maybe not in this moment maybe not in that very place maybe not with this person whoever it is or with this company or with this partner so i would invite you today to really take no's as um uh, as, as blessing as a way to show you that this is not the way to take but you just need to reorientate a little bit towards maybe something else uh, getting no's is actually something that you should uh, be thankful and grateful for uh, because when you get a no you can just think again <clears throat> okay is it <clears throat> i'm sorry is it the kind of thing that i want to go for maybe it's not meant for me maybe i should uh, keep on upgrading my skills getting more knowledge getting more experience so at some point i can get there anyway if it's meant to be um, no's are just step on the ways um, no's are just steps on the way to getting a yes okay so it's very important for you to get no's in order to get closer to the yes and when the right yes is meant to be then then it, it just happens and um for example, again, to go back to Jack Kenfield, uh, publishing Chicken Soup for the Soul, it took him 142 rejection of people who told him, your book is not gonna sell, this is not working, we don't want to publish it. And eventually um, they managed um, 
they managed to publish the book and it took him another 14 months to reach the New York Times bestseller chart. So um, the thing here is that never give up, always try and always move forward. Getting a no is only a new step forward to getting a yes. This is so important to get no's um, that we don't even realize that these are blessings and um, this is going just to orient your way and your path towards um, a yes. So my invitation for you really today is whenever you hear someone saying no to you, just say thank you and next and just, just move forward. Don't dwell on the no, don't dwell on this rejection. They are not rejecting you as a person, as your personality, your soul, your whole being. They're just saying no because of them. You know, when someone says say no to you, it's, it's not because of you, it's because of their own personal reason. It could be a budget reason, it could be a, a time frame reason, it could be that you're just not fitting, but not you as a person, you as the experience that you've gathered so far over the past years is simply right now not matching their expectation. What does it mean for you? It means that if this is really what you want, keep on growing your skills, keep on learning, keep on developing yourself until you have the capacities, abilities, knowledge in order to apply for that particular job, that particular position. If you're looking forward to set up your own business, to launch your own activity, get knows. It's totally fine. And then try to understand why. What is it that I'm missing? What it is that you think I should improve in order for you to publish my book, in order for you to uh, finance my project? What is it that's missing? When you get a no, getting a no is actually an opportunity to dig deeper. When someone says no to you, they are actually they actually want to engage into this conversation with you. Otherwise, they would just ignore, right? So when you get a no, just ask them, what would it take for me to get a yes from you? Is it more degrees? Is it more experience? Is it um, an additional partner? Is it what it is that I need? in order for you to say yes to me. And it goes the same with your, with your dating life, for example. You know, you have this girl who's always saying, no, 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 I don't wanna meet you, I don't wanna go out with you. Okay, what would it take for me to get a yes from you? Try to see it as an opportunity for you to get to know the person better. When someone says no to you, it's because they have actually considered you, they have actually thought about you, they have actually listen to what you were saying and then they made up their mind and they said no but maybe they're just waiting for you to ask okay what do i need to do to get a yes which shows a lot of willingness to improve a lot of willingness to learn and it shows also your openness to feedback it shows that you're very much willing and very much open to whatever the person has to say according to, to him or to her. And usually when people see that you're open to their feedback, that you're open to whatever they have to say, automatically you get, um, you get their good feelings towards you. They, they, they are much more willing to uh, suddenly appreciate you because they will really feel that you really want that. And sometimes the will is much more important than knowledge will is much more important than know-how because know-how you can build you can gain but the willingness to do that is something that's really inside you this is your fire this is your burning desire to actually achieve something and this is the most important thing so please um, starting today uh, see every no as an opportunity as something to be grateful for either because this is something you need to dig a little bit more into to try to understand what would it take for me to get a yes or you can simply see it as a blessing that this is not the right place this is not the right person this is not the right time this is not the right company and i should keep moving forward i should keep on looking for alternative options and um that that are going to make me uh, much happier much better much more uh, of, of who I am. Sometimes we really want to, I don't know, join that very company and um, we force, you know, we, 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 we were trying to force the process. We really want to get into it. And at some point, yes, it does break through and, and you actually get into that company, but then only to realize that 
oh my god why did I have to push so much I'm so not happy or I'm so not fulfilled or this is so not me my values my identity and so on and so forth and you would have you would rather have gone for for something that that you wouldn't have to push so much and that came more naturally so um, getting no's is actually also an invitation for you to let go let go of control let go of absolutely needing to get a yes sometimes we're obsessed about getting a yes from from that company from that person and sometimes it's just not the right place for you to be or the right person for you to be with and it's completely okay it's totally fine just keep on moving forward keep on looking for the next opportunity the next person the next partner the next company it's totally all right um, so thank you so much for watching I hope it was inspiring for you to to see no's in a completely different way something that's not absolutely not against you as a person but you have to just um, see the big picture and um, and try to understand it from a different point of view but it has nothing to do with you as a human being as a soul you have so much to bring to this world and someone telling you no is just an opportunity for you to uh, redirect your focus and and continue moving forward um, the no's on your way are just um, step closer to um, steps closer to 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 the bigger yes to the bigger picture to your bigger fulfillment and happiness uh, thank you so much for watching this video um, I invite you to comment below if if you wish to um, I'm so glad uh, we spent this time together today and um, I will see you soon thank you so much